Welcome back. We had some technical difficulties, but let's try again. We're going to play 10 minute games as we usually do. And hopefully this time we will get a pairing. I haven't yet had time to analyze my second game from last session, but we can still enjoy playing. Good luck. And beyond enjoying playing, I still have time, perhaps this weekend, to look into that game and try to understand it better. I uh, would like to understand... Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I need to get my king moved. If I don't move my king, this is a problem. Um, Vanguard pawn is a sign of strength, so you don't want to exchange it. But yeah, very soon I should find some time to be able to analyze the said game. Alright, I'm discouraging them from building Anaguma Castle. Um, I didn't know whether or not they wanted to build it, but they indicated that perhaps they might, so I should do something to discourage that. Alright. This is curious to me. Well, um, hmm. not sure where my rook belongs. I have some ideas. Um, there's a lot going on here. The key thing is that I've blocked my gold from participating in my castle. And I've basically encouraged this attack. So I should try to do something about it. <laughs> On the other hand, they are not contesting my central pawn, so... Um, I'm considering doing right-hand fourth foul rook. This seems like a reasonable circumstance to try such a crazy thing. Oh, I should also block this diagonal before I F things up too bad. Alright, I officially don't know what I'm doing, but it's going to be fun. Alright, um... Sure, maybe, I don't know. So bizarre. We have found a unique strategy. Um, so our bishop points toward their king, which can't be too bad. Um... I don't know where we go from here. Oh, right. The head of my bishop is a weakness. I knew that. All right, let's see it. Yeah, this is going to be mayhem. But maybe it'll be fun. Yeah, my overlay looks good. Um, 
7分。Oh, interesting. Yeah, I suppose I am sacrificing something here. Because I attacked at a really poor moment for me to attack. Uh, okay, let's build a castle. Forget the knight. Let's use our silver and our bishop. And maybe attack something before we lose the game. Um, okay, yeah, sure, let's use the knight. Why not? Okay. I mean, I have this kind of cavalier attitude about the whole position, but what am I supposed to do? Um... Okay, I can't exactly give up a gold general here, can I? Or if I do, I have to dispose of this knight very quickly. Um... Okay. And if they bring the dragon down, perhaps I push my edge pawn to try to give my king a escape hatch. Uh, it doesn't a very far place to run, but it is a place to run. Yeah, they're searching for checkmate, as they should, because I'm probably busted somehow. Oh, right. Um... Yeah, that's not great. <sighs> okay, well... Um... That's embarrassing. Alright, their knight is kind of a giant, so I'm willing to exchange my gold for this knight. And hope that somehow a knight might just be the perfect piece I need to start an attack. Maybe. I don't know. At this point I'm bargaining. Um, Alright. That knight's gotta go. Also, this aims right at their castle. Um, hmm. They block their bishop. Okay. Uh, that's clever. Go All right, we're going to give my king an escape hatch, which now frees me to do whatever. Like, I can move my gold and allow their dragon to take it, because my king can run away now. Not very far. My king can run. That's better than not being able to run. So I guess my next idea is bring the knight up, smash the castle, and hope that I checkmate before, like, the game ends. But their attack looks far stronger than mine. Oh well, they removed their best attacking piece. Uh, they're trying to replace it. 
Actually, they did replace it. That's a really nice replacement. Damn. All right. Um, I'm impressed. Okay, well, this is not easy. Um... Let's pretend I have an attack. Just going to keep pretending. And if I pretend hard enough, maybe I'll have an attack. Um, seems that simple, right? Sure, let's take that. Why not? I've got six pawns in hand, and nowhere to use them. And they still have a pawn in hand, even though I've taken all the pawns. What gives? Yeah, maybe... Mm, I don't know what to do. They're probably going to take this bishop, and then dragon takes, and at least I'll have a gold to protect my king. Oh. I have six pawns. I don't know how to use them. They have one pawn, and they know how to use it. Impressive. Um... Well, what gives? Why would they do this? I don't understand. Alright, show me. Alright, I get this gold general. Yeah, that's clever. Um, well, I do need to attack sometime if I'm going to win this, so let's attack. Alternatively, Rook takes Pawn is probably not a bad idea. I'm not sure if they did that to anticipate my move or if they had something else planned, but I'm in time pressure. My Rook up here was not successful, so I brought it back. I need to add a pawn to my castle. Uh, let's put one here. It looks like a good place for a pawn. Okay, what the hell? Nifun 30 
I'm a bit anxious, but, um, this can't be too far off the mark. Check. You didn't need to put the lance this close. Um, oh man, a gold right there would have trapped, would have won the dragon. Um, I mean, it was trapped, but I could have won it. Um, I don't want this king to advance. And I might need this knight. And also, I don't want this lance to break in. Although I completely forgot about that until just a second ago. Alright. What have I forgotten? That's what I've forgotten. Alright. Well, that sucks. Wait, there's a mate in one if I'm stupid here. Uh, there's a lot of mates in one if I'm stupid here. I didn't realize just how dangerous that was. Mm-hmm. Well, rip me. Um, my king is almost certainly doomed. Well, this knight didn't need to advance like that. Hang on. Hang on. We seem to be surviving. <laughs> We should, we have no right to survive this, but, um, they have to play accurately. This is ridiculous. Hmm. They have a gold general. It looks quite scary. Um, mm. I'm guessing horse takes. Yeah, I can't worry about giving away that at this time. Go ahead, take my dragon. I don't care. I don't have time to care about such things. Right. Oh wow, their time is super low. 
I hadn't even intended to try to for a time win. That was not my goal. Um Thanks for the game. That got too complicated for both of us. Alright, let's play another game. Practice your sume, folks, or you'll end up where both of us just ended up. I mean, we do practice, but practice more. Good luck. So are they going to push this? No, they push the center pawn instead. So let's build Athmino this way. All right. Um. Balmino. Okay, what to do now? That, oh. Alright, they're transitioning a castle into another castle. Let's have some fun. Wow, okay. We are definitely ready for having fun. Um... Sure. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. To exchange or not to exchange? That's the question. I mean, what else am I doing here? Let's try it. I guess I'm helping them build Silver Crown. But I think this castle is somewhat vulnerable somehow. Yeah, trading rooks is a common theme with opposing rook. I just... There's something I'm... Something I'm not either trusting or believing about it. Um... Like, I think every time I attempt to exchange rooks, they just stick a pawn in front of my rook. Uh, it seems I never actually get to exchange them against an opponent who knows what they're doing. I 
And so, sure, yeah, of course I'd be delighted to exchange rooks, but it seems just, in general, it never quite works out the way I'd hope. Um, on the other hand, my rook is very sad here. So maybe I swing eight over to the fourth file now. Maybe I should have done that prior to trying to exchange bishops. Not that the bishop exchange was a great idea, but... Yeah, now he's even completely... Well, he abandoned the file and he's gone back to it. I don't understand why he went back to it. That seems peculiar to me. Um, I'm avoiding a silver drop here hitting my bishop's head, so they might still drop the silver here, but at least it won't hit the bishop. Oh, well, I've given them this obvious bishop drop idea. They... okay. I'm confused. I confused them, and they are confusing me. Um... Hmm. How do I get out of this perpetual Nothing. confusion realm? I'm going to stop them from dropping a bishop back here, which... Oh, I see. They've grabbed a pawn, and they can grab another pawn. Fine, so be it. That pawn's yours. Hope it was worth it. If I could get a pawn in hand, I know where I would put it. I would get myself a free silver. I just don't have a way to get a pawn in hand. I mean, I... I have... Oh, my goodness. Really? What? What have I missed? Hello? Where's the tactic? I'm sure there's something here. Um, I wasn't concerned about that. Oh, now their rook breaks through. Duh. Alright, well at least I get something. Maybe. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Well, we found the tactic, guys. Good work. Now we just have to fight off this thing for a thousand years. Um... Hmm. Well, this position clearly does not favor me. Should I be happy with a draw? Um, 
I'm playing Senta. I should try to win. I don't have a win here. I'm getting crushed. <laughs> Gofun. All right. Yeah, I guess he doesn't want to lose the silver. Um, I'm fine with that outcome. Sorry to my opponent for that. Thanks for the game. Good luck. It's impressive. I didn't know you could move on this waiting for a game screen. I learned something new each day. Like, as it's introducing the players, I can already see the first move on the board. That's really cool. Uh, okay. Oh, goodness, my alarm clock's going off. I should maybe do something about that. One second. Alarm clock has been neutralized. That's right, we get up early to play these games against our best and brightest opponents. I wonder if they're going to move this pawn. Nope, they didn't move the pawn. Oh, I'm being stupid. I just trapped my bishop. Right. Okay. Well, that was not so smart. Whatever. It won't be fine, but... You know, we'll deal with it. We have to. Alright. Well, that's a nice handicap. I should have moved the silver first. I thought I had the square covered twice. I don't. So now I'm both in time pressure and down material and don't have initiative. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and also, like, my position's completely crumbling. But other than that, everything's fine. Um, so what do we do? Let's defend the closest weakness to our king. Mm-hmm. Well, that's smart. Um... Forget the material value of the pieces for the second. Really what matters right now is how many pieces are attacking. So, my bishop was not being useful. Now I have a knight. Maybe I can find a way to use a knight. I don't see a way they can use a bishop right now. Of course, long term this is going to suck, but for right now... It's fine. So I'll just have to grovel for another eight minutes and hope that we don't lose.
It's not exactly where I wanted to put a pawn. But in the name of activating my pieces, like, this seems like the only idea I could think of. And this is a sad place to put a silver. But again, like, I need to activate pieces somehow. Okay, do I can't exactly give up my rook for nothing. Okay, I should have looked for that. This is terrible. Um, this is terrible. Because my rook looks extremely difficult to mobilize. Uh, all right, fine. We'll activate it this way. I can't believe they let me do this. Like, yeah, they get some of my material, but... Um, I'm stunned that I've got any initiative whatsoever. They could have just gone after my king instead of chasing my rook. And I guess they still could, like, put a bishop and hit my rook, so I need to move it or defend it. Um, there's a good chance I'll move it up and promote it and bring it over or something. Yeah, that's this sort of thing I was afraid of. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put a silver in a place I would not normally put one, but... Um, I need to try something here. Like, if I just allow them to drop a piece freely on this square, I am Nana. screwed. So... Uh, what to do? This is so awkward. This is a terrible square for a silver. The silver needs to move over toward the king. Or I just need to accept that it's stuck, but... If it's stuck, I'm in trouble. No, the silver in the corner is stuck. There's no rescuing it. It it would take far too many moves to get that out of the corner. I need to just promote my rook taking the knight.
or promote my rook for a free tempo. Okay. That's appealing. Thank you, sir. May I please have another? Okay. As far as I'm concerned, that's still a free tempo. Here, do you want your pawn back? You can have it. I guess that's a no. Mm. I have some long-term ideas. <sighs> what to do? There. That's a defensive and attacking idea. I think I could be ha pleased with it. Okay, you can trap your horse. I'm okay with that. Go for me. This is an unusual square to put the knight on, but, like, what am I going to do? I would have rather put the lance over here and tried to bring my knight over here, but, like, I needed to make some defensive moves, and my opponent is quite stubborn. So, we approach this way. Um... can't believe we're doing this, but I guess we are. Alright. Man, I have to take the long route. That's sad. <clears throat> Pardon me. I'm all choked up about it, clearly. <clears throat> there we go. So... Alright, they've built this scary looking battery. I guess we'll just move this one closer. Let's just move this one closer. Move this one closer. All right. Take one of those.
It's dangerous for me to take that one. Um, hmm. I probably should defend my A2 square or whatever this is. Something. Um, that's a really heavy defense. A lighter defense would use my piece that's already there, but I sense that somehow that's not going to work. Oh. Well, yeah, I see. Yep, yep, yep. My king's gonna run out by taking the knight. That's the plan. Um, it's not a good plan. That's an awful plan. Okay, what do we do now? I don't know, man. I don't know what we do. This dragon has uh, quite the influence. I could have put another piece down on that line. Okay. Can't get mated in one. So let's deal with the mate in one threat. Okay, there's another mate in one threat. Uh, what do we do? <laughs> That's not great. Um, sure, that seems like a good idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Perfectly safe. Nothing can go wrong here. All right, we are screwed. Um... All right, thanks for the game. Oh, okay, thanks, sure. We'll do it this way then. All right, well, Lance eight four is the typical attacking move. Since, yes, you're right, that is a typical motif. Um, yeah, I got overrun that game. No big surprise. It happens a lot on this channel that playing these 10 minute games, I don't spend enough thinking time, particularly when I'm already down on time. Um, I just play moves and we see what happens. And, you know, it's kind of hard to win when you just play moves. So, yeah, that's a fun little avatar for sure. Anyway, yeah, we're going to learn something from each game. I'll need to make some time later today, perhaps after work, to review some of these games in more detail. Figure out what it is that I can do better. Obviously, that last minute switch to playing Opposing Rook, even though I've not really studied it, was perhaps not the best move. I'd have better results if I were to switch back to playing Third File Rook, but um, I guess now I at least have games to review. So... Uh, that that's good in its own way. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.